name is Erin and welcome to the South African Shark Conservancy. Today I'm going to do a brief crash course on the pajama shark or Choroderma africanum, which was described in 1789. So I'm just going to grab it here. So the pajama shark um, grows to about 1.2 meters long and are just uh, characterized by the distinct five to seven bands on their, on their body, which is why we call them pajama sharks. They have barbells on their snout, which allows them to sense their prey, and have very, very thick skin, which deals with their bottom dwelling lifestyle. So these guys are endemic to the waters of South Africa, meaning that you can only find them here. They live in inshore waters, out to about, um, down to about 100 meters in depth, and you can find them in rocky reefs, as well as kelp forests. So they feed primarily on crustaceans and squid, and are fed upon by um, larger sharks, so broadnose seven gills. So I'm just gonna show you some cool stuff with the eggs. So, pajama sharks are oviparous, meaning that they lay eggs. So these eggs are called mermaid's purses, and they're made of keratin. In addition, um, the sharks lay about two eggs at a time, and it takes about five and a half months to nine months to hatch, although um, the exact time is relatively unknown. So unfortunately, these sharks are listed as near threatened by the IUCN list of endangered species, and they're commonly caught as bycatch for major fisheries, as well as in recreational game fisheries. And since they're endemic, again, meaning that they only appear in the local waters right outside the lab here, that they're vulnerable to overfishing. And if we lose the populations here, we lose the shark forever. So that's why we really need robust conservation and research going into the species to ensure that we have PJs or pajama sharks for future generations. Thank you.